All right, y'all. I genuinely did not realize it was January 30th already. And it's so soon to February. Like, what am I gonna do right now? That's so stressful. All right. Well, uh, listen to the... the the slow running music while I go run and see if that cat guy oh actually I was gonna go see if I can go talk to him but he needs fish so that's not what we're gonna do right now I do see that now toes out here let me go ahead and take a look at the social links again I saw that I'm at eight with Rize uh, the Fox we're doing the fish quest um, didn't see the athletes out and now toes right behind us I didn't realize she was at going to nine so we'll definitely hang out with her if she's ready to go up. And Ayane's at 9 too. We can max out Ayane. Alright, so this will be the deciding factor, I guess. We'll see what Naoto needs from us. Hello. Ah, uh, yes. Do you have time you can spare with me today? Naoto asked you out and isn't ready to advance yet. So we're not going to hang out with her today. And we'll see what happens this evening. But does that mean we're gonna max out a yacht? That means we're gonna go into town and find something else to do? <laughs> Jesus. I thought she wanted to hang out with me. Um Okay. Maybe we will hang out with Naoto, but let's go check into town real quick. And we're about to take exams, so I think everyone could also study together i think that's also a thing there's kanji kanji's wanting to get an ability i think maybe if yukiko is there i'll try to hang out with her like if she's ready to go for a ride because i think i would want to try to give her fire amp back i think that's the one i got rid of because she has a boost right now wow there's really not that many people that want to hang out today so I guess maybe we will just go ahead and hang out with Naoto. Because there's not many other people that we'd be waiting for. Just Ayane, Naoto, and anyone in the evening. Hmm. Okay. Well. If that makes an easy decision, but I'm not happy about it. <laughs> not in the slightest. What would Ayane say? Just curious. Senpai. It's almost time for the test. I wish we still had practice. You can practice all you want, girl, eh? Just go out by the riverbank and toot toot away. Alright, let's go hang out. She looks happy. I, I too am happy, don't get me wrong. <laughs> Just... My, my days are limited. <laughs> Didn't you hear what I said about being January 30th? Welcome back! Hi, Naoto. They start on Monday. Do we study? No. I'm sitting a lot. My teacher said I'm a fast learner. That's why I'm so proud of you. Okay, it's Monday, so we won't be able to tutor. I'm thinking. Just thinking out loud. I guess that's all I do while I'm playing the games <laughs> on this channel. I'm just thinking out loud. Uh, okay, if we don't see anyone in the shopping district, which uh, is not very likely that there'll be someone that we want to hang out with. <gasps> Hi, Pisa. Pisa's at 8, so maybe we will hang out with her, actually. Just to make sure that our next hangout with her brings her up. I was going to say my other option was going to be fishing. So that we can try to get that goldfish. Now let's hang out with Rize. Hey girly. Hey! Huh, we ran into each other a lot. Maybe you're coming here just to see me? She seems bored. Yeah, let's spend the evening with her. Really? Yay, I get to spend time with you. Rize seems happy. We just chitter chat. You enjoyed your idle chat with Rize. Ah, too bad. It's getting late. Too bad. I wanted to stay and talk some more, but at least I can give you this before it's time to say goodbye. I want you to have it, Senpai. An orange smash. I hope it helps, even a little bit. All right, Senpai. Good night. Good night, Senpai. You parted with Rize. Went home. I realized that I romanced Rize in this one, and I romanced Futaba in the other. And it's like, do I have a thing for the navigators? Do I just have a Senpai. thing for like women telling me what to do? Um, do you have time to spare today? Could I see you after class if you do? Will you spend time today with Naoto? Yes, immediately. Thank you. You see, there's someone I'd like you to meet. I will come for you afterwards. 
easy send. Okay, so we're getting very close with both of them. I'm so nervous. And I just have no idea what day, like, the game is going to end at all. I mean, imagine we're at least going to, like, Valentine's, right? Samagawa plot floodplain? The man in black you met before is waiting here. I am Yakushiji, secretary of the Shirogane estate. I humbly apologize for the other day. I must also <laughs> apologize. Pull the knife on me. <laughs> Though I may not have known, I involved you in this. It was an act put on by my grandpa. My master has been terribly saddened by Naoto-sama's state of affairs lately. Her state of affairs? Lacking acquaintances to confide in, she devotes every fiber of her being to work. My master wanted Naoto-sama to regain the joy she felt in days past. To regain the feelings when all that she wanted was to be a detective, regardless of her heritage or gender. <sighs> I involved you at my own discretion, believing you to be trustworthy. Please forgive me. I received this from Yakushiji-san. It's the final challenge. I'm just now realizing this whole social link is voiced. The card reads as follows. I did what you can't stand to at a place you'd be fond of. But underneath, rather than inside. A place I'd be fond of. Underneath, but not inside? Wait, I thought he said underneath. Some are bright. I don't know. Hmm. I don't especially like them. Nato is tilting her head. If it has to do with my childhood, then it's probably somewhere high. Remember? I told you before that I made a secret base in the trees. The highest place around here is... The hill! Next, what I can't stand to do. There are several possibilities, but... I guess throwing these away, that's what it seems. But this one has a question mark, and I don't like that. <laughs> oh my god, they're actually making me answer these questions! Oh no! That's right! Did I mention that before? Nata has an embarrassed smile on her face. Considering what's at the hill, the most likely answer is the trash can. I have an inkling of what might be there. Let's go, Simba. Oh let's run. I'm very excited to see what this is. What kind of thing did baby Nato cook up in her little brain? The hill overlooking town. It seems that there is something taped to the bottom of the trash can. I forgot this thing even existed. It's the last of the seven tools. The detective's pocketbook. <sighs> All the things I had forgotten about are packed in here. I think Grandpa wanted to remind me of them. This childish game. He's selfish indeed. Forcing me to recall all this now. I was trying so hard. Not to be underestimated. Not to be condescended to. You calm down and upset Naoto. If I solved this town's murder case, then everyone would accept me. They would acknowledge me as the fifth in the Shiragane lineage of detectives. That's what I told myself. But that was no ordinary case. The best I could do was convince the police, and there was no way I could allow everything to come to light. Of course, I had braced myself for that during the case. But that's why I had to do the best I could until the very end. I just wanted to be accepted. I wanted to be needed. Mm. That's why I fretted and stood on my tiptoes and focused only on solving the case. But the original reason I wanted to become a detective, it was because mysteries intrigued me and I could help people by solving them. That's all. I remember now. Do you recall the time I faced myself in the TV world? It was my task to accept the self who yelled, I want a reason for me to stay. But my reason to stay was not solely to solve the crime. You, everyone, gave me a reason. You gave me a place to stay. 
Oh, Naoto's trying to smile through her tears. I have to be an adult. I have to be a man. With that way of thinking, I was running for myself. I don't need to look for something to change or something to accomplish. I only need to have faith in myself. I finally think I can accept myself. No. That I'm a woman. That I haven't yet become the detective I wanted to be. I... I am a woman. And a detective. One who will continue to pursue the truth with you and the others as long as I live. You can sense Naoto's strong will. You feel the relationship with her has grown deeper. Oh, oh I'm so I'm so stressed. The power to create personas of the Fortune Arcana has grown. Determination to battle has been enhanced. I'm really glad I came to this town. It's where you and I live. And all the others, too. You spent some time with Naoto and went home. Cute! Welcome back. Okay, we can work as a tutor today. Mm, I love Naoto. I did... Okay, so I assume that I got whatever her romance one was wrong anyways. So I didn't think that I was going to get the, the option to be prompted, and I didn't. But that made it seem like her social link to be to romance her ends up on being 8 to 9 instead of 7 to 8? Be just because of that woman's voice. I'm not sure if that's right, but that's what it seemed like. Okay, you're a fast learner, Nanako. We all know. She's literally the cutest little genius. Oh, 100% Inaba beef. Eat it? No. Not right now. I think we might go tutor, because we're at 8 with Shu right now. Um, if Naoto is out, that could be... Okay, she's not out here. And we just hung out with Rize, so we won't need to hang out with her. I'm sorry, I... <laughs> I really am. Um, and... Okay. Just Yosuke out here. Fishing and Shu are the only options right now that I would do, so... Make sure we go hang out with this kid. Let's see what he has to say. So I think he does have a crush on the transfer student. And he hasn't really said a- I don't think he said a gender for them. And that's why he talks about them a lot. But I'm not positive. Okay, let's go tutoring. Oh wait, I think it said we won't deepen just yet. Hmm. We could go do it anyways in a hope that he's ready next time on Thursday. Or I could just come in losses and go get the fish. And then we would be able to, I think, mm, go to the next one with... Let's just do this one, right? We will find an opportunity to go fishing, I think. And it said that we're going to be able to go up with Shu next time. Alright, it's February. Is something going to happen? Or prompt? Yo! When are we going skiing, sir? It's so damn cold. I can't believe it's February already. Oh, you know how exams are next week? What do you say we go skiing this time for real once it's all over? We do have those holidays coming up after all. You've got to see what Inaba has in the winter. Are the others free? I asked around and everyone seems like they're free. They all said their schedules were open anyway. <laughs> It'll be the winter's last hurrah. Let's use this to say goodbye to those exams too. I'll shoot you an email once the plans are nailed down. Make sure you don't catch another cold, okay? Okay, so we're going on Monday. Or no, exams are on Monday, and then we're going to the trip after that. And that's it for today's lesson. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to sigh. When I see snowy landscape, I just can't get those beautiful pyramids out of my head. Hmm? Don't tell me you don't know what the pyramids really used to look like. You don't, don't you? Don't, don't, whoa, you don't, do you? What colors were the pyramids originally? Uh, whoa. I don't know. I feel like in my head they're always gold, but I guess they're probably black. 
What? You don't know? How tragic. Remember this? Pyramids used to be white. The pyramids, when first built, were covered in beautiful white limestone casing stones. I'm stupid. She talked about looking at the snowy landscape. <laughs> of course they're white. However, the other outer limestone was stolen. You're feeling how it looks now. When I see a white landscape, I can't help but think of the tragic history. Those robbers. If I was there then, I would have cursed them. <laughs> Just kidding. I gave the incorrect answer, and we they ask so many questions after I've already maxed out my stuff. Okay, so we could study, but we'll see who's uh, hanging out first. Wednesday, there's no Ayane. We may have Rize or Naoto. No Rize? But we do have Naoto? Oh my gosh, don't. You're gonna let me max up Naoto before my girlfriend? That's gonna make me feel bad. Uh, whoa, who would I even leave here for? I don't even... Again, fishing or Rize. The fox. Oh, which would be fishing. We didn't see the athletes today. Oh, I guess we're gonna max out Naoto as long as she's ready. Let me see. Hello. Ah, uh, yes. Do you have time you can spare with me today? She asked us out. <gasps> Isn't ready to advance yet. Okay, no. Next time then. So, what I'm going to do then, I will actually go fishing. We're gonna go to the river. And then we can go ahead and just catch our fish right now. I'm hoping... Okay, two seconds actually. I want to see who would want to go biking. I saw Yukiko at the school. Oh, it's Yosuke. And we went with him last time. I don't think he has any abilities that I would necessarily want to bring back. And I don't really use him in Vinyl to begin with too much. The last thing we gave him was pretty good because I think if I were to bring him, it'd be more for like uh, going through the levels rather than actually fighting the boss. So I'm okay with this decision. All right, let's go to the river. See what we can catch. I don't know if I can catch a guardian anymore, but I'm kind of still hoping for it. All right, cast. So I think if we want a breadcrumb, or if we want a goldfish, we just need to do breadcrumbs. And that's not too bad. I don't know if, like, if I were to like say not do this ripple that went in, would I get to keep my diligence? Oh, well, that's definitely not going to keep it. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Was that, a, was that a goldfish? I'm scared. Oh, no. It can't be that bad. I'm assuming the cute fish that he's talking about is a goldfish because all other fish are ugly. Watch, he's like, I want a huge fish. But I already have one, I think. All right. Little baby, maybe? Aw, yeah. There's a cat next to me. Okay, so let's try now with the beetle. Oh, wait. Lots of huge fish. Okay, so I think it, it is this beetle that we can catch the a guardian potentially. If it's there. So what I'm going to do is try to at least catch one in here. And then I think I might let the other one go. Maybe, depending on what it looks like. Like, that looks like a normal huge fish. This is more of an experiment now, <laughs> since I caught the fish that I actually wanted. And I'm... Okay, if it doesn't look like it's crazy, like, bites or ripples or something, I want to see if we can just skip over it and if keep our... Um... Let me see. Rick off your hook and escapes in the water. Okay, no, you can't just skip over them. Alright. Experiment concluded. It was a failure. I guess I don't know. Is it a failure if I get the results that I... I was just looking for results? Unknown. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. This one doesn't feel that difficult. Huge fish are disgusting. Thanks. 
I don't know. I know that you can get them when it's raining for sure, but I wasn't sure if there's was like. Oh, welcome home, it doesn't rain bro. in winter, so what else <laughs> am I supposed to do? Okay, we can go be a janitor today. Okay, there's Naoto. Oh, we definitely need to hang out with Naoto, actually. Let's go and let's go check the fusion forecast real quick. And also remind Margaret. Let her look me in the eye so she remembers what is going on and that I'm waiting for her. <laughs> Margaret, you gotta help me find my girlfriend. The hell? Alright, let's go in here. Oh, the only one guy. Welcome! It's chilly today, too! On days like this, I yearn to be close to someone. Hey! Never mind. I will be alright. My drinks will warm me up. Oh, not you though. You don't get to drink until you're an adult. Looks like my little one wants a different bug than the usual stag beetle. Hmm. I wonder what that last bug is. I'll literally never know. Alright, Nato! Senpai! It gets chilly at this district at night, doesn't it? I just finished my shopping. If you don't mind, perhaps we could stay and chat? Nato seems bored. She might appreciate if you talk with her. Thank you. Well, then. Nato seems happy. Excuse me. <gasps> you know, it's almost Valentine's Day. The students at school can speak of a little else. This time of year always leaves me a little forlorn. I keep getting asked what kind of chocolate I like by the female students. At least some of them must already know that I'm a girl. I have mixed feelings about this. Hmm. I've been there. I envy you. That's just how it is. I've been there? But I mean, like, that'd be rogue saying bump guys, right? Right. Hmm. Huh? Really? Uh, in your case, that means the advances came from a man, yes? I I'm sorry. My curiosity got the better of me. That just seems to be reflecting on what she just said. I'm not bad at reading people's emotions when it doesn't concern me, but it seems that the personal involvement can impair my judgment. Even on my last case, the client... <laughs> just a couple of bi girlies talking in the snow. No worries. Oh. Will you look at the time? It seems that we've been chatting for quite a while. Oh yes, I have something for you. You may perhaps find it useful. Please accept it. Stimulant. Someone else gave me this. Or maybe, maybe it was now till last time too. that it's like it'll be the last test you take here dot 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 <laughs> all right so no ayane today uh no rize no alto come on guys what's what's the deal our time is precious i guess rize maybe doesn't want to hang out because exams are coming up oh jeez and we could hang out with them, but like, I don't really need to. <laughs> I'm kind of smart if y'all haven't noticed. <gasps> Nato's biking though. Hmm. Bring back perhaps insta kills. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, you know what? The guy's not over here. He's over at the floodplain. So I guess. We can go to the fox if we can finish this today, then. To tell you the truth, I'm also scared of fish. You know those creepy eyes, all muddied looking this way, and all those scales? Uh, is there some kind of cute fish? The man wants a cute fish. Maybe he'll think a red goldfish is cute. Let's show it to him. Oh, what's that? It's so cute! Give that to me. I'll use it to ambush that cat. <laughs> what? The man stole your goldfish and ran off? Oh god, are you going to be at the cat now? We're going to have to wait another day. Hopefully he's just at my house. I'm hoping that today you don't need any more time. Nothing, sir. You will not spend the afternoon with the cat. Hmm. It is Thursday. I don't think it'll make a difference if we go hang out with Aerie. Young Mother is three. I is two. Where's Adachi at these days? 
<laughs> See you soon. Oh my gosh. I just want someone, someone that I want to hang out to be available. I don't know if Ayane's even ready to go up. I just assume that she is. I assume that... Everyone is that I am working on. But maybe I should just go ahead and... Drop some, drop some cash just in case. We're gonna do it for Shu, actually. No, it did say that he was ready to go out, go up. You know what? I was gonna pay for Rize, but she's she's at the school, so I think she would just want to. Um, study? And I think that's okay. Man, I'm fumbling. There's just too too much, but also nothing I can do at the same time. Hi! Oh, Senpai! You came at just the right time. The test coming up covers a lot of subjects. I won't be able to study unless you help me. Okay, will you be available to hang out after this, though? Please don't laugh at me, even if I get it wrong. By teaching Riza, you're able to review the material for yourself. Your knowledge has greatly increased. You bond with your study partner by studying together. You feel that your relationship is going to become closer soon. Okay, that was good, I think. You're back. And we can work as a tutor. Let's go. Okay. I am worried because with what? Uh, three days left? <laughs> three days left and I think we have four social links that need to be worked on. In order to complete all three of them. Which is so stressful. <laughs> oh no. Okay, let's go tutor. We'll deepen. Yes, let's go. And I think we only have one day left with shoot before the exams. About this. Is this going to show up on any test? If it is, I don't want I wanna know a way to memorize it. Begin to explain to him in an easily understood manner. Expression has increased. We've got a big test coming up. It's gonna cover a lot of material. Oh well. I'll be at the head of this class this time, too. I won't lose. I will not lose. She looks anxious, despite what he, despite what he says. Mister. Hey. Getting good grades, being great at sports, being fun to talk to, and good-looking. Is it possible for anyone to be all those things? Do you know anyone like that? Oh, I thought he was talking about me. <laughs> me? You mean yourself? You really are full of yourself, aren't you? <laughs> Teach me your ways. He laughs. I've been having this dream lately. In my dream, I'm on a train. And it keeps speeding up, but I don't know where the tracks lead. There are no exits, so I can't get out. But there's someone coming from the car behind me. I can hear the doors opening and the footsteps. I don't know who it is, and I get scared. Every time I have that dream, the person gets one car closer to me. Hmm, you must be tired. Probably. The one time I get to rest is when I'm sleeping, and I can't even do that right now. I want to be free. Shu's face is pale. If I'm not at my best... She suddenly looks tormented? What are you worried about? Nothing. Nothing's bothering me. He seems unwilling to talk about it. I don't want to be hated. He tries to be smile. Please, come back again. He looks helpless. It seems that she was opening up to you. The relationship with him is growing even deeper. Ooh, rank 8. I feel like I'll be able to sleep well tonight. Goodbye. Oh, Mister. Finish your tutoring you. job and went home. Okay, so what were his options again? I think it said cheer him up or get him to talk about it and something else. Maybe make fun of him? I'm not sure. You remember falling asleep in your bed, but you feel more awake than ever. Our memories together. And that's... Maybe that's not the last one. There's still a couple more. Is this a dream? You think back on your memories of Marie. Hmm. What is Margaret? Margaret, are you just gonna... Toy my emotions again? Hello. I apologize for interrupting your morning. I thought it would be best to inform you of my progress in the search for Marie. 
I have located her. However, she's in the realm that not of that man. I will be. It will not be easy for you to set foot in that place. Please allow me to a little more time so that I may make preparations. As I've said before, when I am done, I shall come for you. Now, if you'll excuse me. Should I have, like, been training or something this whole time? <laughs> Marie's whereabouts have been identified. You now need to wait until Margaret comes for you. I'm gonna assume no, because I, I was kind of overleveled for the last place, I think. Who? Yes, who? <laughs> Rize, hi! Senpai! Oh my god, whoa! <laughs> I'm screaming! Um, do you have some spare time after school? There's something I want you to hear. Will you spend the day with Rize? Yes! Thank you, Senpai. I'll see you later then. You decided to spend the afternoon with Rize. Oh no, I hope that guy isn't making a rash decision with that goldfish without me. I love this shot right here. It's so cute. The hill overlooking town. You came here at Riza's solemn request. Senpai, I thought, I it thought about it. Oh. Why my mind just went blank when I heard about Konami. I mean, I ran away from showbiz because I was tired of being an idol. So I shouldn't have had any problems. And yet, I felt so angry about it. Why do you think that is? You regret leaving, you're selfish. Rosette is Rizé too. Rosette is Rizé too. A little flowery. Yeah. <laughs> you knew all along, huh? <laughs> but really, that's how it was. Rizette's name in lights. Idolized by the masses. That was me, too. I didn't want to lose that me. He's a smiling sheepishly. There's no way to become someone else. I ran away from my plain, gloomy self. Then I ran away from my idol self. Right now, I'm a high school girl just enjoying school life, I guess. I would have run away from that as well if I didn't realize. I've been trying to become how I wanted to be. I pick a role, and then after a while, I keep chasing the real me by picking another role. When in fact, those roles are all me. I don't want to run away anymore. I don't want to search somewhere else for myself. I'm gonna hang in there, as the complete me. Rize spoke her mind, looking straight at you. You feel your relationship with Rize has grown deeper. Rizu Kujikawa, social link has reached nine. She can protect the party at times? If an ally would fall to an attack that hits the entire party, Rize will block it once. Oh, yes. I'm glad I came to this town. After all, it's where I met you. <laughs> I'm glad I met her too. I have to go home now. Because otherwise we wouldn't have King's Game. <laughs> time would just stop. Mm. We only have like a month together. You walked Rize to her house and went home. I should have dated her sooner. You're back. You can work as a janitor at the hospital today. Hmm. I was just thinking of taking Nana to go out to Junez. You want to work? Yeah, let's go with them. How cute! It also not doing anything for me, but look how cute Nanako is in her little sweater. Gina's grocery department. You came shopping with Nanako and Tajima. Every day's great <gasps> at your Juna. No, stop! Because it's been so long since she's saying that. I regret nothing. I regret zero things. Nanako's enjoying herself. <laughs> Did you want something, big bro? Go ahead and get whatever you want, but make it quick. You decided to purchase something that caught your eye? A peach seed? Ten of them? Oh my god, did you know? <gasps> Dad, I need to go to the bathroom. Uh. Alright. I'll take Donako to the bathroom, so we're here with our things. Hmm? Will someone come up here? You see, Chie, you can go and Rize a little ways of where you are. You don't seem to notice you. You hear them talking to each other. <gasps> oh god. Valentine's Day is coming up. <sighs> yeah. 
There's flyers for chocolates everywhere. <sighs> yes. Hey, can I be honest with you guys? <laughs> Instead of giving them away, I wish I could eat them. You think so too? Oh, me too. Whenever I flip through those catalogs, my mouth starts to water. That's right, huh? Totally. They look so delicious. I hate to give them away. Last year when I was ordering chocolates to give to the staff, I bought like 30 just for myself. I clicked on the no gift wrapped option and ordered away. You think so too? I'm saying. We worked so hard last year, I say we reward ourselves. Mm. Why don't we take it a step further and include Nanako-kun? The four of us can exchange chocolates. <laughs> oh, that sounds great too. <laughs> then let's go browsing. The three happily leave. You wait for Nanako and Dejima to return, and then the three of you go home happily. Okay, that was cute. I'm I'm cool with it. Cool with it. <laughs> oh my god, all my favorite people literally in that one scene. Amazing. Amazing. Alright. Now, let me talk about how this is now frustrating. Not frustrating me, but like making me want to pull my hair out and cry. Um... <laughs> But now I think we're at level 9 with Rize and Naoto and Ayane at the same time. So, since- okay, Rize's available at least, and Naoto, oh bless. Because I was gonna say, if it comes down to it, and it's only one day left, and I have to pick through the three of them to max out, y'all would have been stressed. Okay, but we're gonna go talk to the fish guy first. Hello? You? Hello there! The man is covered in scratches. The red goldfish you gave me. Thanks to that, the kitties were all over me. Oh, those kitty witties were so cute. The feeling of their soft fur is great. I almost want to get married for more than the cat than mio -san. Oh, I want a kitty kiss. You accomplished the request written on the email. Be sure to report back to the fox. Heck yeah! I think this is... Oh my god, I've looked at this page so many times today. Seven to eight. Hmm... I don't know, man. That one wasn't that bad, though. I kind of wish I tried doing that one earlier. Not that any of them were particularly hard. Alright, we have Naoto and Rize. I will say that now uh, Rize will be my priority, but I do want to see if she's ready to go oh. up. Uh, going to become closer soon? Okay. Next time, then. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, it's Saturday. We should be able to hang out with Shu tonight, too. I don't really know if he'll be able to go up, though. Oh, senpai! <laughs> Weird that we'd run into each other like this. Are you bored? Let's go have fun somewhere. <gasps> Isn't ready to advance, Rize? What? Oh my god. Come on, girlfriend. We're gonna go hang out with Naoto. What did I do wrong last time that she hates me right now? I don't know. Hello. <laughs> The way I'm juggling these girls, honestly, I'd hate myself, too. <laughs> okay, since she will go up. Yes. Nata looks happy. The Simagawa Riverbank. It feels like such a long time ago that we were here chasing after the Phantom Thief. It was an unforgettable case, full of rewards. I enjoyed it. What about you? It was a cinch. Easy peasy. <laughs> I bet you can become a greater detective than I have. Well, no, let's not go that far. She's saying that because I'm a man. <laughs> so, um, I wanted to give you something today. I uh, made this. Made? Please accept it. The oh, way she's blushing though. I got a badge? I haven't crafted anything like this in some time. If I went back to the estate, I could have added a camera and transceiver. Oh, but it flashes. I made myself one to match. Now you're my assistant, Senpai. Leave it to me, I want to be your partner. You're my assistant. I want to be your partner. Partner. <laughs> that has a nice ring to Aww. it. We should open our own detective agency. Where'd the music go? That's so smiling cheerfully. 
The title of detective became a burden to me. I thought I had no other aspects apart from detective self. But you and the others gave me a reason to be as neither adult nor man. Just Nauto. So, I was able to face myself as myself. Before the detective, before the child, before the woman. By spending time with you all, I changed day by day. It frightened me before, but now, with everyone, with you, I can proudly proclaim that I am myself. Nothing more, but nothing less. Nato smiling gently. Let's go! We might only have this one for like two days. Nato's strong will had allowed her to accept and overcome her weakness as weak wake into her heart's true power. Is it still gonna be small? Whoa, no! Nato's persona has been reborn. Yamato Takaru? It looks like it has a stingray on its head. This potential Forehead? was still dormant within me. I wasn't considering the things that I should have. The people who care about me as well as my own self. When I'm with you, I feel fearless. <laughs> you can sense Naoto's warm trust and respect. You feel a tight bond between you and Naoto. Yo, max out with Naoto. God, that's so scary since you get her so late, though. Thou art I and I am thou. Thou hast established a genuine bond. These genuine bonds shall be your eyes to see the truth. Bestow upon thee the ability to create Norn, the ultimate form of the fortune arcana. Like, if this was just regular Persona 4 content, I there's no way I would have been able to max her. Okay, Norn, the triple godhead of fate. Hmm. <gasps> oh! Oh my god, look at its outfit! It's kind of given crow, am I right? That's interesting. Can I remember any more skills? Please choose one to forget. Figure eight, three. I get it. I understand the appeal. Truly. Truly, 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 I do. Come stuffer. I make lots of stupid. Di I've made dumber mistakes before. Well then, let us begin. There's a lot you must learn before becoming a detective. I myself can't relent in my training to become a formidable woman detective. Oh, our little nod. That was so we'll cute. We'll start off with something that may come in handy before too long. Shadowing a suspect. Can we go track Kanji? Nato pounded the basics of Detective Walker into you. You had a good time with her. <gasps> Hello! You decided to help Nanako study with Dejima again today? Um, today I'm studying for my life class. I'm supposed to help out at home. Uh. Life class? Oh, you mean life environment studies? Yeah! Mm -hmm. That... Um, once I'm done with this, my teacher said I don't need to study on weekends anymore. What can I help out with? Well, you washed the dishes earlier, so you've helped out already. Hmm. Oh, okay. Then that's what I'll write about. Nanako's doing her best to write down her thoughts. When I wash dishes, they get clean. It makes dinner taste good. When dinner tastes good, everyone smiles. So I like washing dishes. I didn't know how to tell she saw things. <laughs> She's such a great girl. You sound like a doting father, or at least a doting brother. All done. Thank you. Now I'm caught up. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, big bro. Seems Nanako has succeeded in catching up with her lessons. You feel closer with Dejima and Nanako? Since Nanako has finished her studying, you put her to bed and return to your room. That was so cute, too. And it's Sunday. What should we do today? Is someone gonna call us? You received a text message from Yosuke. How's everything going? Everything good? 
Ski trip next week, the 11th. Two days, one night, all fun. I got us a room. We can rent boards and clothes there. Let's ace our test and enjoy the last big event of the winter. Laters. <laughs> Lates, you now scheduled to go on a ski trip with everyone else for two days starting February the 11th. Oh my god, wait, how long are our exams? You realize I haven't bought anything from the home shopping program? And does it show up on here now? Ski trip! Ski trip and then oh, Valentine's Day is afterwards. Oh my god, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Go out until the evening. Oh, I should have looked to see who was here. That was my mistake. And we can't catch anything. Okay, so we could... Let's go check Junez real quick. There's no one here. Where is Teddy? I haven't seen him in a long time. I mean, not that I would hang out with him. I just, you know... I just, like, are you out there having fun without me? Or what? Truly, I've just been beelining it to the same, like however many people. Hi, Rize. I don't think you want to hang out with me, though. Or you don't want to go up yet. Which, I guess, if there's no one else, we could do it anyways. Just hang out with her. Um, or we can try to do the foxes. So that's stressful. <laughs> oh, look, you know, we haven't seen this screen at all today, right? Okay, the fox would go to eight. And then Rize's would just be... I feel like it would just be like you know, twist of the knife. Because she'll be ready to go up next time, but then we're going to be gone for a week and I'm going to be sad about it. <laughs> we won't even be maxed out for Valentine's Day. Or Yane. Wow. I'm a terrible boyfriend. <laughs> oh, senpai. Are you bored? Let's go have fun somewhere. Yeah, let's hang out with Rize. Uh -huh. Where shall we go? She looks happy. <gasps> shopping! You spend shopping with Rize. You feel your relationship is going to become closer soon. Aww, I wanted like a little cutscene or something. We'll see. Since we have exams tomorrow, I don't think they're gonna let you're me back. out. Hmm, skiing? Oh, you're gonna go over the next break you get? I can see this is the last chance you get to have some fun this season. Go enjoy it with your friends. You're going skiing? We started PE already too. It's cold outside, but P.E. is tons of fun. Hmm... Well, not quite the same, but I like your attitude. I like your spunk, kid. Okay, nothing in here. Okay, we can go out, though. There's no shoe, though. There is a now toe. Why do I feel like I haven't seen this outfit on her? Have I? She's looking kind of slay. Yukiko looks cute too. I love that skirt. Okay, real quick. Let's check the fusion forecast again. Is today a good day because we have so many little breaks or a long break going on? Not really. GA. Kanji, so a lot of our friends are out here. We can just go talk to them because they're here. Or... I want to see maybe if we can go... catch bugs with the fam. That'd be kind of cute too. Actually, no. Let's go back to the shopping district. I feel like... I don't think my last hangout with Shu was very good. So we're gonna go do that. And I'm pretty sure you can't advance with the fox at night, so I'll I'll check. Since we're going over here anyways. But I don't think it's gonna come up from anything. I don't remember what praying does. Alright, uh people from outside school and shoot. Great blessing! And it'll get stronger soon. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Oh no, it's exam day. Okay. Hmm? Your year-end exams begin today and continue until the weekend. You should hurry to school. Not hurrying. 
I think it skips us to the every day, right? Oh. Even though it's like a week long. Good morning, Rogue. The advancement exam starts today. Did you remember to study for them? Chia seems anxious, but me? I'm kind of relieved. I miss things like exams and schoolwork. It's just another sign that normal life slowly coming back. I wish those stayed gone. Huh, you might have a point there. Although, the ski trip is this weekend. We need to do our best for it. Is something horribly wrong gonna go happen at the ski trip? Vance mix exams, way day one. The word alphabet comes from the world alpha, and what other one? Bait? Bet? Beta? Beta? Oh my god, I forgot I was taking exam for a second. <laughs> How was the theory that the pyramids were built by slaves disproven? Attendance logs. I feel like I've chosen the correct answer. Oh my god, these are gonna be hard, aren't they? Wait, is that it? Two? Okay. <laughs> I'm stressed. What drink names means bury, bury the demons? Toso? Uchi, Soto, Toshi. Oh. Soto. You don't have a good feeling about your answer. No, no. No, I'm shaking up. What is a medical term for brain freeze? Oh my god, it's really long. The longest word. <laughs> We're gonna pick this one. <laughs> you really chose the correct answer. I'd be lying if I didn't say that I did that in that school, too. <laughs> Advances exams day three. What is the Japanese zodiac equivalent to the cat in the Vietnamese one? Oh, rabbit. What vegetable was used to make the first jack o' lantern turnips? Oh my god, this game has actually taught me things. Okay, what color? Were the bear pyramids when they were first built? White. And then what gets mixed with snow in Europe that sometimes causes it to turn red? Something about the desert. The sand. Oh, let's go! I think we missed like two, right? That's not bad. We've already gotten like one where we were top of the class. Senpai. Hi, girlfriend! Today's the last day for exams. Ugh, this week has been so stressful. But the ski trip's tomorrow. I can't wait to stay the night with everyone. Say, how are you at skiing? I haven't done it in a while, so I'm worried I might be a little rusty. I'll teach you. You will? Hooray. We'll be there for two days and one night, so there'll be plenty of skiing. I'll take you up for that offer. Wait, so are we going now? Oh, no, still exams. You're familiar with every question. You feel confident about your answers. Oh, we're done. Oh, my gosh. I was stressed. Today was the final day, day of advanced exams. The ski trip is tomorrow. You decided to go straight home. No, you decided to go straight home for me. I still had stuff I wanted to do. Welcome back. You're not going to let me leave. <laughs> I wonder if we're going to get a visit from someone. What if... No, it's not raining. Are you going to be staying the night on their trip? Teach me how to ski next time. Oh yeah, you're going skiing tomorrow. You're staying the night, right? Don't worry about Nanako. I'll be home during the holidays too. Go have fun with your friends. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Alright. Let's just go to sleep then. I'm so scared. Today's the day of your ski trip with your friends. It'll be the last big memory of your winter in Anaba. Your endeavor, your endeavor, you endeavor to have as much fun as possible. <gasps> Cutscenes! Let's go! Oh my god, wait, now I'm excited and I'm not scared anymore. Is this really your first time snowboarding? Just gotta keep your balance, right? Ooh, <laughs> the Kung Fu lessons coming in handy. You're too fast. <laughs> <laughs> She's doing the bunny slopes. Open up your stance. Do you get it? Come on. It's 
It's easier said than. Huh? <laughs> Damn, that hurts. Stop. Oh, oh, so sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> 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 Oh my god. Wait, that's amazing. Them being competitive? <laughs> what? Together we're perfect. <laughs> Jeez, <you two. laughs> mm, so cute. You ski down the slopes a number of times, enjoying your time with your friends. Yo? Ooh, we've been down this slope a bunch of times now. They look so good. Hey, what do you think of my snowboarding skills? I bet you're head over heels with them. I'm sorry, is he talking to me? Well, yeah, but only because we were falling down all the time. <laughs> Teddy kept crashing into me. It's not fair that Kanji gets to keep skiing with Nao-chan. I'm completely against one-on-one -on -one personal lessons. I can't believe they let Teddy just stay in this fit while skiing. <laughs> like, there's so many people around here. You were doing it on purpose, you bastard! You guys are completely ignoring my lines, huh? So this was your first time skiing, Nao-chan? How was it? I can barely even stand upright. Kanji Kun is teaching me, but yeah, he is. It's not going as I'd hoped. I keep going in the wrong direction or falling over without warning. I hope I do a little better tomorrow. You don't look it, but you really don't like losing, do you? Should we go up one more time? What? I'm too tired. My legs are giving out on me. My fur's all frozen too. I feel like Frosty the Snow Bear. We've got tomorrow too, so let's call it a day. Aren't you hungry, Chie? I didn't even notice it until now. I'm super hungry! <laughs> what are we having for dinner at the lodge? I think soul cooked in non-regional style. That non-regional part caught my attention. So, it's a non-style style? What is that supposed to taste like? I think you would only call it something like that if you weren't all that confident about your food. <laughs> I doubt the chefs would appreciate hearing that from you guys. That's so mean. I remember you yelling about how delicious that cake we made was. I wasn't yelling. And that cake was only good because Naoto helped you. That's not true. It was thanks to the cookbook. <laughs> I don't care which it was. And you guys should have been using a cookbook in the first place. There's something more important at hand right now! <laughs> Why is Jay's outfit like not even on her right now? She looks disheveled. Soul is a fish, right? What about some real meat? Meat! How much of a carnivore oh are you? <laughs> For real, she's gonna go after someone if she doesn't get meat. I don't think I saw any real meat dishes on the menu. Oh god. No beef? Or pork? Or even chicken? We're goners, all of us. She's got a point. And considering how much we've been skiing, I could use something with a lot of protein. Meat. <laughs> Everyone turns to look at Teddy. Has the day finally come that you all want a little taste of Teddy? What do you mean finally come? No, we'd never do that. Bear meat is pretty gamey after oh all. Oh my god, you could go as crazy. <laughs> You're so cruel, Yuki-chan. <laughs> She's so crazy. I love her little slaughter though. You finish skiing for today and decide to return to the lodge. Curious, is there going to be a girlfriend scene? Maybe. After dinner, everyone gathers in the lounge. <gasps> this is so cute. Is Teddy still in the bathhouse? We saw these college girls while we were having dinner. He said he was gonna hold out in the bath until they showed up. Sheesh, what's he up to now? You say that, but I bet you wish you were there with him right now, don't you? 
What? That's the worst. Wouldn't you rather spend time with us? I mean, me rather than people like that, senpai? Dude, how awesome is it that we all get to stay overnight like this? And it's co-ed! So why don't we... No. <laughs> but I didn't suggest no. anything yet! Sorry, were you gonna say play cards? <laughs> why don't we go night skiing? <gasps> I've always been impressed by people who can do that. That sounds dangerous. Then we'd have to take another bath afterwards. Honestly, I'm already exhausted from snowboarding all day. Then why don't we do what people usually do when they get together at night? Tell ghost stories. I don't know. Isn't that usually a summer thing? Yeah, um, I think I'll have to disagree too. Huh? Could it be that you're actually scared of ghost stories? This whole time, I'm getting like the vibe, especially since we just started romancing Rize, that like Yosuke is now jealous, and so he's getting every opportunity to make fun of Rize. Although, I don't know if he's done that before, or I'm just like hyper aware of it now. Stuff like in those stories actually happens in the mountains. That one time during shooting was enough for me. What? Stop it! Oh, our inn has a lot of spooky stuff, too. Once, we asked a customer how he liked his room, and he said the restroom was too dark. But his room didn't have one. <laughs> and sometimes He's when the you take pictures in, the in that room during Obon, they don't come out right. Oh, that's pretty creepy. Oh, and I heard that Haniwa are occasionally found in the mountains around here. Haniwa? They say this entire area could have been a grave site long ago. Folklore has little <laughs> valid scientific <laughs> evidence, but is a result of cultural significance and strong story elements. Oh, look at the fear in the beginning of that. Any ancient burial ground is likely just the site of a t t temple. So, um... <laughs> You're scared too? Yes. Oh, She admits it at least. This is starting to get pretty good. How are you in scary stories? I'm scared. <laughs> Wait, seriously? Well, I'm not gonna lie. I sometimes get a little spooked. There's nothing to freak out over, I think. Would it be scarier to only hear bits and pieces of stories like that? Would it? Shut up, Moranji! <gasps> Why are you pushing so hard for us to tell ghost stories? Not Moranji! You stop calling me that, damn it! Well, I'll start off then. Yukiko can go last. Her stories are off the charts, creepy. Oh? Let's see. <laughs> it was Piano over music. three years ago. A friend of mine in middle school told me this. It seems his sister went to a pretty prestigious private school, but she ended up running with the wrong crowd. Supposedly, she and a bunch of other girls were bullying another girl in their class. He said that she'd come home every night and laugh over the phone with her friends about the kid they were harassing. One day, she suddenly came home with a pale face. Ever since then, she started locking herself up in her room. No matter how much he asked what was going on, She'd completely ignore him. But he could hear her mumbling. She'd keep saying to herself, It's my turn next. My friend got worried, so he went to ask his sister's friends what was going on. All her friends had passed out for mysterious reasons and had been taken to the hospital. He was so scared that he didn't know what to do. That night, at around 11.30, suddenly his sister started screaming in her room. He ran into her room, and she was covering her ears and repeating, She's calling me! I can hear her! But my friend couldn't hear anything. And soon, his sister rushed out of the house. The next morning, she was found unconscious outside the school gates, just like her friends had been. In the end, she was taken to the hospital and recovered. But when he asked the people at school what happened, it seems the girl they were bullying was dead! Mm. They said that the girl must have become a spirit that haunted them one by one. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I was gonna say, this is actually like spooky. 
But that's impossible. Your story is full of inconsistencies. <laughs> Wait, but I think I've actually read a police report like that. <laughs> oh, no. That's not denying it. You're supporting it. Wait, did she die? I think she turned up okay. Well, that doesn't matter. That wasn't bad for a leadoff, right? Well, you're next. What do you have in mind? Me? Me? <gasps> okay. Do I get to, get to whole, tell a whole story? This will be fun. Okay, so I'm gonna say this happened to me recently. You're gonna do this too, Senpai? You meanie. <laughs> I don't want to, yeah. You decided to tell them a story, you know. It sounds realistic when you tell it. So? So? And then? Oh, okay. Uh... Late at night, he heard crying. Ooh, one time, at the inn, there was this- Oh my god, girly? Zip it! <laughs> oh god. What? What was that? <laughs> oh, no. I was ready to keep going, I scared myself. I heard something. I heard something just now. That was unusual. It, it's just our imaginations. Anyway, keep going. You can't just end it here. That'd be even scarier. A creepy man with a long nose. I got nothing. Hanako and Kashiwagi monsters. Uh, I feel like if it said Kashiwagi only, I would have said that. But a creepy man with a long nose. Whoa, that's freaky. Something about a nose that long? <gasps> Stop it! No! Uh, uh, blackout? Oh shit! Something just went past me! <laughs> I told you I didn't want to do this! Why didn't you listen to me? <laughs> Someone get the lights on! I can't take this anymore! Hurry! Uh, hang on! Where's the switch? Oh, look at Reese and Chie hugging. How dare you? <laughs> Gandhi behind the couch. I'm sorry, I'm obsessed with Reese and Chie right now. To think you're eating all the snacks while I'm gone. I'm gonna curse you. Get him? <laughs> yeah, let's finish him off. <laughs> I'm sorry, Teddy. Only people have human <laughs> rights. <laughs> That's the best line in this entire game. <laughs> oh, babes, what's come over you? <laughs> Why are you so mad at me? So it was Teddy. Damn it, he freaked us all out. And, and, what happened after that? Oh my god, I love her. <laughs> the night goes on. Oh my god, that was only one day! There's so much... antics to be had. Second day of the ski trip, you decide to spend your time on the slopes until the sun sets. Alright! Time to hit the snow! Someone's full of energy. You guys were up talking all last night, too. How do you know about that? Don't tell me. It's no surprise that they heard you, considering how loud you were. I told you over and over, the walls were thin. Uh, oh, so that's all. I thought he might have been peeping. We were talking about some pretty risque stuff in there. Sorry, Kanji. Did you get a nosebleed all over your pillow? <laughs> She's so mean to him. Shut up. Who would want to listen to you hens clucking all night anyway? I think I would. Just a little. I may have done a little listening. I heard things about Nao-chan's size and Yuki-chan's shape. Lying, Ted. We didn't talk about anything like that. Wait, what about my shape? Have I changed somehow? You're letting him get to you. You're being manipulated. Jeez, forget about it. Let's just enjoy our day skiing. Let's go, senpai. Mm, Hold it right the heart. there. Risei-san, don't you think you're being a little too... You know, you've been hogging the same ski partner <laughs> way too much. Huh? But it works out so nicely. 
You and Yosuke-senpai are both on snowboards. Teddy and Yukiko-senpai keep taking the steep slopes and won't slow down for me. And Kanji seems to want to be with Naoto-kun. Hey, what are you getting at? Mm. So, it's only natural that I'd pair up with Senpai yesterday. He and I will take it slow. You don't have to worry about me. Come on, Senpai! Let's go! Our logic is 100% ironclad! Shogun's <laughs> people have amazing ways of persuading people! Why are you impressed? Ahem. <clears throat> the, the reason we're on this trip is for all of us to make some good memories of spending time with Senpai. In other words, we should all be trying to have some skiing time with him. <gasps> Do we get um, a scene with each person? Oh, crap, you're right. You're right. I want to make memories with Senpai too. Oh, Kanji, let's go. Sometimes when you say things, I wonder if you have some hidden agenda behind them. And if he does, if he does, let me make the decision if I want that. <laughs> then I'm not snowboarding today. I'm switching to skis. Hey, that's no fair. I want to leave my ski tracks of love with Sensei too. Um, hey! Why don't we let Senpai decide for himself? Be honest and just make the call. Um, what? Seeing everyone staring at you so hopefully hurts. I... Whoa, wait a sec, everyone. I don't like where this is headed. Either. Some of you sound like you're out for blood. Let's all enjoy the slopes together, okay? Oh, Yosuke, thank you. Th that would be best. I concur. <sighs> Thanks for not answering before I could get that under control. Oh my god, what if I said I really wanted to ski with you? <laughs> Thanks, Jealous? I would have picked Chie, I think. Chie or Kanji? I'm just saying thanks. No prop. You've got a partner who understands your needs. Uh, well, let's go enjoy the slopes. You plan to make today a fun day as well. Oh, Naoto! Everyone is enjoying the slopes. Kanji is helping Naoto practice. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised. I didn't think there was anything you weren't good at, Naoto-kun. How's it going? Do you think you're ready to start going for real? No. Not at all. Mm. Quit freaking out about it. Open up your legs and point your toes in or else you're gonna speed up. Come on, keep your balance with your knees. B but if I stand with my feet further apart, I I'll fall down for sure. Like I keep saying, you'll be fine. <laughs> Even if you do slide down, I'll catch you. You're so nice, Kanji. You never said anything like that to me. I already know how to ski. I don't have to teach you. Well, if I ever do need someone to teach me, I definitely want someone nice like Senpai to do it. Right, Senpai? Oh! <laughs> They're doing that today, too? Maybe they just don't know how to stop? Well, they ain't dead yet, so I guess they can stop somehow. <laughs> Ah, it's Chie Senpai and Yosuke Senpai. Yoohoo! <laughs> it somehow just feels like we're doing the same thing we said we weren't gonna do. Hello? Those two are looking good. Hang out with me! I'm so jealous that they can snowboard. People who are good at it can look so cool. But I'm definitely more into skiing with you right now, Senpai. I feel bad that we're in other people's way, so shall we get going? Please, wait! Can you stay with me until I reach the bottom? <laughs> I have no idea which way I'll end up going. Okay, last one there's a rotten egg. See you at the bottom. Wait, weren't you listening? I can't turn or stop. <laughs> Don't worry, someone's going to be there to catch you. Right, Kanji? Huh? That's what... Uh, right! <laughs> I'll catch you all. I was gonna say I'd rather catch Rize, but I'll catch you all. Oh, you getting so fired up about? I just love my friends. I don't really see why you're so intense about this. If you're gonna catch me, then I'm gonna jump right into your arms. Um, I can trust you then. Well, I'll be counting on you. Jeez, you're too nervous now, Tokun. You just need to ski straight. 
Wow, how did this happen? What the hell's he doing now? <laughs> He's not even wearing skis! I think I'm going to walk. <laughs> Time passes and as you have fun on the slopes. Oh, that was so cute. Oh god, it's not done. The sun is going to be setting soon. Should you ask someone to accompany you down the slope? <gasps> you can ask any of the girls or all the guys together. Okay. Listen, listen here, listen. I Rize has been with us the entire entire trip. We're gonna hang out with Chie. You decide to ask Chie to ski with you. You and Chie enjoyed your time together on the mountain. Phew! That was fun! Now we've been up and down this thing all day. This is my first time snowboarding, but I'm really liking this. I'm glad you can ski well. It'd be no fun if I had to worry about slowing down for you. She laughs contently. I usually don't like snow because it makes walking to school take even longer, but playing in it gets me all excited. <sighs> but that's gonna come to an end soon. Well, don't do that. Oh, my brain's doing everything it can to avoid thinking about that stuff. Still, I had a lot of fun this winter since I was able to come here with you. Let's make sure we come back again. Let's come again with everyone. Yeah, of course. It'll be great. I'm getting hungry and I miss meat. <laughs> so let's start heading back. Which way are we supposed to go to get back to the lodge? Uh. Wait, seriously, which side was it? Ooh, should be right. You don't sound too sure. But we should at least get going. It's starting to snow pretty hard. I'm scared. Are we gonna get lost? What? The snow is rapidly decreasing. Any visibility? You decide to somehow make your way to the lodge. What? You walk quite a bit, but the lodge is still nowhere to be seen? The snow seems to be coming down even harder now. I wonder where we are. Hey, where are we going? Oh my god. Snow got in my mouth when I yelled. Hey, do you think... Could we be lost? Crap. I don't have much feeling left in my hands. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Are we gonna die? Don't fall asleep no matter what. If we keep walking, we'll get there. Let's dig a snow hut. If we keep walking, we'll get there. No, no. That's what all the idiots who freeze to death say. Girl, you're so right. But I didn't want to make a snow hut either. There's something over there! What the hell is Isn't happening? Yes! Oh, we might be able to take shelter there! It'll be better than wandering around in the snow! Let's hurry! Is someone here? There's no answer from the inside. Oh, hey! Ew, what is going on in here? The door was unlocked, but there's no one inside. Kind of careless of them not to lock the door. Well, it's not like there's anything here to steal anyway. In any case, it's a good thing we found this place. Who knows what would have happened if we'd been stuck out there. She looks anxious. Are you scared? Oh, oh no, I'm okay. <laughs> I guess you don't feel stuff like that when your body gets this desperate. Oh my god. That's worse than saying that you're scared. Um, hey, do you have your phone? I actually forgot mine in the lodge. You do not have your phone. Oh, you do have your phone. If there's a signal, you may be able to call for help. <laughs> The screen reads no service. It seems there is no signal here. I had a feeling that would happen. Hell, even if we were able to call someone, they might not be able to find this place in the blizzard. 
If this keeps up, are we gonna be trapped here all night? Uh, we'll be spending the night together? Oh, I know! I saw a movie recently about some people who got lost in the mountains. Uh, maybe it'll be useful. What the hell is this doll behind her? Why did they give it a belly button? If I remember right, the characters took off their clothes to help them warm each other. <laughs> Take off our clothes, huh? What am I saying? <laughs> you know what? Never mind. That movie was stupid. I think they all died at the end. <laughs> but still, we do need to warm up somehow. Hey, isn't this a sunken hearth? We can start a fire here! Is there something to burn? Let's look around. If there's a hearth here, there has to be something for it. I um, would like to start with burning this doll. You find old newspapers and some matches. After some effort, you manage to get a fire started in the hearth. Oh, it's so warm. I finally feel like we're going to be okay now. I don't know what I would have done if we'd been stuck in the cold all night. This hey. is so scary. Instead of having the fire between us, it would be warmer if if we were closer, right? <laughs> is that what I this is? I wonder where we are. <laughs> Will we be able to make it back safely? Is that what this is about? <laughs> oh. Sorry, that was pessimistic of me. But I feel... A little bit excited. This is kind of like when me, you, and Yosuke fell into the TV for the first time. When I'm with you, I somehow feel like things will be alright. Oh, um, well, I... There's a TV in here, what? That wasn't lightning, was it? Oh my god, I was very afraid of this, but there wasn't a TV when we first walked in. <laughs> oh my god! Wait. Did that thing come on just now? Why? I'll go take a look. Thanks. No, never mind. I'll go with you too. Y'all, 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 y'all. What is happening? Huh? Hey, hey! I don't think this is the place for that. Hmm? Seriously, we should wait until we get home. Hmm? It's just not safe. guys doing? I won't allow it! Stop! <laughs> Don't throw away your friendship in a moment of passion! My brain hurts. Yosuke? Everyone else too! They're still dressed. Oh my god, I have to watch this back with every person. Are you kidding? Why would they take off their clothes in this freezing weather? And dude, why are you guys so flustered? What is up with you guys? Yeah, what's up with you guys? D do I really have to spell it out for you? <laughs> Wait, what? What are you talking about? Don't tell me! Were you waiting for an audience? What daring lovers! <laughs> How shameless! You're the shameless one! Weirdo. Wait! Were you guys listening outside? No, I mean, not on purpose. It would have been awkward to interrupt before, but... Then you were listening! For your information, it was a matter of life and death! Hey, we came because we were worried about you! Whatever. What were the two of you doing shoving each other around in here? The TV came on! It isn't plugged in. You're totally misunderstanding what was going on here. Everyone is staring at you in contempt. <laughs> you desperately explain what happened just now. Huh. So you got lost, found this building, and then things started heating up. Y'all, this is such a mistake. Why does it have to be the girlfriend asking me all these questions? I can't believe this! <laughs> we were so worried, and here you are sneaking behind our backs! Mm, not the partner asking us questions, too. You still don't get it! Look, even if the TV isn't plugged in, it's suddenly turned on by itself! That's why we were checking it out! 
We wouldn't risk our lives way out here in the middle of nowhere just on a whim. Middle of nowhere? This is right behind our lodge. It's some kind of storage shed. I think they keep it unlocked because the workers need to come in and out all the time. It's not like there's a blizzard or anything. Hmm? And why would the TV turn itself on? That whole case is over. I bet one of you sat on the remote, then you started freaking out. Nato said it was unplugged. We're not lying. Fine. I'll check it out myself then. Are we actually going to go in like right hey, now? Wait a sec. What? What's going on? It's not letting go. Power at this rate. Oh, why did they give? Oh, I assume that's Margaret. They gave her like claws. Brother, what is happening? Uh, that hurt. Huh? Oh. <gasps> This is very pretty. Where are we? It seems. What? They're big. My. Oh my god, they're all gonna meet her? Excuse me. Please forgive the slightly impolite invitation. Whoa. She's beautiful. Now's not the time for gawking. I think she's the one who grabbed me. Who is she? You know her? <laughs> she's my sweetheart. A friend of sorts. F friend? What type of friend is she? You got one mysterious life. Forgive me for not introducing myself sooner. We meet for the first time. My name is Margaret. I am a helper on this young man's journey. I meant you no harm. Um, well, can we trust her? <laughs> I think so. She's kind of weird sometimes, but... Uh, I see. Do you remember? I have come to fulfill my promise. You mean about Marie? Yes, I have come to guide you. Oh my god, this place is I apologize wild. for the amount of time it required me to prepare. You did ask to be taken to where Marie is. Is she here? This is the Hollow Forest. Hollow Forest. The closed realm, created by her in the TV world. The world of the human mind. It would seem that after Marie left us, she shut herself in here. Why? I do not know everything. But, as you know, she was searching for her memory. And by opening her heart to you, she finally regained that memory. It would seem that what she found was not what she had been hoping for. <gasps> what is the Whoa, truth? hold on. What is this all about? Marie? You mean Marie-chan? The one who was with you? I remember her! That fashionable girl with the hat, right? What do you mean, she's here? And what was that about her memory? Everyone is worried about Marie. What should you do? Uh, we'll explain it. You explained that Marie had lost her memory and that she is currently missing. Emmy-chan has amnesia? We are inside the TV right now, correct? A missing person ending up in the TV. Don't tell me. I mean, we put an end to all that. I do not think this is the same situation. I believe Marie's disappearance is unrelated to the kidnapping incident you all were following. She was not taken away by someone, rather she came here of her own volition. She willingly came here? Does that mean marie son has the persona ability as well? No, Marie is originally a resident of this side. 
So was she a shadow? She was originally. What kind of girl were you showing around town? Because that's what Teddy would be, right? Hold on. This is inside the TV, right? Then aren't there shadows in here? You're kidding me. That means... Marie's in danger. He's right. If she were to be attacked by shadows... I will not say that she is not in danger. However, the same goes for you. If you are to proceed ahead and search for Marie, you must have adequate resolution. Is that what you want my friends? The path ahead will be relentless. You alone will not be able to reach her. If you wish to see her again, then it is my role to help you. And to do so, I decided to invite everyone who has accompanied you on your journey here. I see. I was wondering why you didn't bring just our leader here. Now I understand. You're giving us all the information and letting us choose what to do from here. You aren't here to stop us. Exactly. One more thing. Well, this isn't going to affect whether or not I plan to help, but you are also like marie -san, a resident of this side? The human mind contains more than shadows. I believe you all witnessed that in your last battle. Are you talking about those things that came out of Namatame and Adachi-san? Well, they were different from the shadows we know about. It does not matter how you choose to interpret it. What you see and what you believe are up to you. I know that you can supply yourselves with answers. As I know that you have been capable of coming this far. One more thing. As I just said, the Hollow Forest was originally a closed realm. It is not the case now, but in time, this place will seal itself again. Mm -hmm. In other words, we can't come in and out of here forever? Exactly. It would seem that little time remains before the Hollow Forest completes itself. Once that time has passed, this place will be closed forever, and you will never be able to visit here again. If that happens, Marie's existence will be entirely expunged from your memories. Not expunged. We'll lose our memories? Like, what the hell are you talking about? Oh, she's just gonna up and vanish from our heads? Okay, tell me more. It is exactly as I said. The closing of this forest marks the fact of Marie's erasure. Any memories you have of Marie will disappear, and you will return to your peaceful days. What? No! This doesn't make sense! So, does she want us to forget that? I merely have come to fulfill my promise. What you do is up to you. I have made a link from the television in the mountain cabin to this world. That is the only conduit through which you may reach this place. Huh? Huh? So we can't get here through the TV and Juness? Exactly. This world and your world screens are linked place to place. It is a fact. Hmm. I can't smell the other places from here. It really isn't connected. I am repeating myself, but it was Marie who shut herself in this world. There is no need for you to think that you must risk your lives for her. I am sure she would not wish that either. Please, treasure the normal lives you have. That is what Marie would want. Now, mm. if you would excuse me. Okay. Hey, hey wait! Uh, please? It's a TV. The same type as the one in the cabin. This must be the exit, like the ones Teddy has. So now what? What else? That Marie chick is in here, right? If she's in danger of being attacked by shadows, then we've got to get in there and find Aww, her. Oh, Kanji. So valiant. Hold on. It might not be that simple. I mean, yeah, probably not. Let <laughs> but us leave for now at let any us dream. Rate. We cannot blindly run ahead so suddenly. Yeah. 
I mean, she says that, but at the same time, like, what can we possibly do but prepare? Like, we won't know anything unless we have any sort of inkling of what it's like inside. We can go home, think about it, but then what? Plus, we're totally not prepared, right? If we're gonna do it, let's get ready and take this on full force! So we have to come back to the mountain if we want to come back and rescue her? Ugh, who was pushing me? Shut it. There's eight of us and it's a tiny frickin' TV. Oh, I dented my head in. Anybody want to touch it? <laughs> Why do you say uh, it like that? Yeah. <laughs> what are you guys clowning around for? Come on, get up. We got a meeting to hold. We do? What are we going to talk about? Oh, uh, I don't know. But we always have one, right? I guess she just wanted to be the one to say it. Yeah, it would really mess with my head if Chia Senpai was coming up with good plans. Shut up! That's rude, you know! Still, that was a surprise. You know that whole Marie being from the other side thing? Wait, so the TV world is the world of the human mind, huh? It's not really sinking in, though. I couldn't even tell. Sorry for keeping secrets. No, it couldn't have been helped. That sort of thing isn't something that can be easily explained to others. It would be like the first time I met all of you. The issue here is Marie-san's motive. Why would she risk her life to shut herself in a place like that? I could see it if she was thrown in like we were, but why would she do that to herself? Oh, her memory is the key or Margaret is the key? Say her memory. Yeah, that blue chick did say Marie lost her memory. Maybe she remembered something that made her do that. Hey, I just thought of something. If the world she's in closes, she'll disappear from our memories, right? Isn't that the same as dying? What? Wait, you mean sh she's trying to... I don't know, but it just feels that way to me. She wants to kill herself and make us forget about her? She's erasing her own existence? I think Emi-chan's like me. I was really worried when I couldn't figure out who I was. When I finally found out I was a shadow, it was Aww. traumatizing. I don't think Emi-chan's a shadow. But I think she feels the same way I do. Oh, don't think she's a shadow? She shouldn't exist. Teddy. The atmosphere is heavy. What should you do? We can't leave her like this. Yeah, I think that too. I can kind of understand how she feels. Not having anyone know the real you. Being alone all the time. Even when someone's friendly to you, you feel like there's something wrong. If I didn't meet all of you, I might have thought the same as her. Same shit with me. I was always being misunderstood, so I toughened up and started biting back. I was scared that no one would accept the real me if I ever showed it to them. In the end, I couldn't even admit it when I was showing myself. <laughs> Pointless. Yeah, we're all like that. Everybody's suffering in some way. Yes, but we were able to change. No matter how much we hated ourselves, we were able to face it and accept it. Because we had dear friends. Yeah, I know now. There's nothing to be afraid of. We're the only ones that can save Marie-chan. If she's really thinking the same way we were, we have to go stop her. That's that then. We should find out exactly what we're getting into first. It's better to know anything than to go in knowing nothing. It'll at least make things easier on us. We should devote a day to it. Mm. Teddy, Risei-san, can you scan that world? From the usual spot, of course. The rest of us should rest up to prepare for the exploration. If there are shadows in there, then we can't avoid fighting them. All right, let's do this! <laughs> oh, this takes me back. Even though it hasn't been that long since we finished the other stuff. Yeah! All right! It's super sniffy time together with Risei-chan! <laughs> My super ultra mega hyper uber teddy nose what? <laughs> can pick up even the slightest scent! But 
This skill is not without its drawbacks. After three minutes, I get just an ungodly amount of snot. Ew! <laughs> hey, don't damage the bear before showtime. At least he's actually useful in a fight. How rude! What do you mean, at least? I'm glad that they can laugh when we're in school. a crisis right now. Okay. Your friends are thinking, about, take, thinking back to the, the way things used to be. According to Margaret, there isn't much time before that place closes. You must find Marie quickly, or you will never be able to see her again. You are concerned about Marie, but first you should get a grasp of the situation at hand. You return to the lodge and pack your bags to return home. I hope they give some indication of when we'll see her. Today, you're supposed to discuss what happened yesterday. Hurry to school. Ugh, it's cold. Oh, well, let's start the meeting. First, allow me to report. Just in case, I've checked for missing people in the local jurisdiction to see if anyone may have wandered in there. Zero results. There are no missing person requests either. It seems that this place really doesn't have anything to do with our previous case. Hey, no fair! You said to rest, and yet you went and did research. <laughs> but I went and checked the newspaper, too. I looked for any news of missing people, but there wasn't any. I also tried asking our suppliers and customers if there was anything going on, but there aren't any rumors. Ditto. I asked around at work, but didn't come up with anything. Can't underestimate the housewife network. Yeah, I tried some <laughs> we know nothing. Punks, <laughs> Come on, we know nothing. I get it. <laughs> Considering that none of us could find evidence, perhaps it's safe to say that no one has wandered in accidentally. But more important is whatever Teddy and Rise-san found. How did your search go? I can feel that hollow forest really far away, but that's it. I couldn't sense Emi-chan's presence at all. That place, it's big. I'm glad we didn't just jump in there without making sure we were ready for it. Oh my it. god, y'all are scaring me now. The Hollow Forest, huh? Is that place also affected by the mind of the person inside? If that's the case, then did Marie-chan make that area? Hollow Forest. We heard that phrase before. In the last battle, right? We did. I was wondering the same thing. Amino Sagiri mentioned it. I remember him saying that, but I can't remember anything he was saying about the it. The place that gave birth oh, to those who answer the desires and wishes for lies of humans. Was that it? Hold on. Are you saying that the image in Marichan's mind is the same force that created that monster? What's going on here? The hell? Who is she exactly? Our objective is to save her. But it doesn't seem like things will end there. If she is related to those monsters, then we need to do more research. What is she trying to do? Who is she really? It seems we have no choice but to go see her and find the truth directly from her. We'll find her. Yeah, let's do it! Whoever she is, we're not letting her die like this. That's right! I'm burning up! Right, let's do it. We don't know what she's bummed about, but we'll save her. Everyone's hearts have become together. Wait a sec. If I come and save Emichan, that's like an arrow straight through the heart, right? What should I do? I'm not ready for this. Dude, I can't tell if you're being a creeper or not. You hurry to the mountain cabin to save Marie? Hmm? We're here. We can get them that hollow forest by entering this TV. Let's hurry up and move in then, there then. This place is gonna get closed off soon, right? Yeah, and that Margaret person said it was definitely gonna happen. I think we're still okay for today, but I can sense it getting further and further away. Oh, wait, does that mean we have no idea when, what'll happen tomorrow? That is quite likely. It was a completely different place until very recently. Since there's no guarantee that we'll be able to enter it tomorrow, we must do something about it today. Right. It'll be a bit tough, but you gotta do this. Come on, let's go see Marie-chan today? Huh? 
Like right now? I don't know. I don't know about that. What if I say go back home? Are they gonna tell me no? <laughs> I'm trapped. I'm literally a hostage here in this moment in time. I mean, I guess we're going in. Enter the TV. Yeah, let's go. Oh my god. Y'all, what? The I was just trying to get a girlfriend today. Oh, what is this? What is this? <gasps> huh? It's snowing. Oh, you're right. Mm, this is... This isn't snow. These are flower petals. You can hear a voice from somewhere. Listen to my voice, my shouting, bellowing voice. Here I am, pouring my blood into my words, yelling at the very edge of the world. I am a little mermaid, unable to return. The little mermaid. Faded to foam, the little mermaid. Is that Marie Chan's voice? She sounds so sad. Whoa. Okay, this, like, the lighting in here is different and it's so pretty. So, like, they really are just trying to prepare us to go in there immediately. And I'm simply not ready for that. But I guess we're gonna start this. I had been, like, hoping and waiting for Margaret to tell us what's gonna happen. But I didn't think she would, like, pull us in here before we came on the ski trip. And once the ski trip hit and we had that scene where we chose one person, it really felt like it was just gonna be me and Chie coming in here. And I was like, oh my god, I made the mistake of a lifetime. But I guess, like, whenever we get back, I'll be able to fuse some personas, see if we can make the team a little stronger, and then go in there and see what it's going to be like within the Hollow Forest. It, it makes it seem like this is actually going to be, like, a really big, long dungeon. So, hopefully, hopefully we can do our best to make our way through. I don't know if we have to do this in one shot, or if we can go back and, like, get some more items or anything. Because literally came with no preparation, but we'll uh, have to see what that's like in the next one.